peace, peace once again. Yeah, it's starting to get real nasty out here in NYC. But um, like I said, it you know that I um I'm definitely a man of my word, so I had to come back and address only um only the women, only the sisters, because like I said earlier in my other live that the question keeps coming up and people keep asking me and I and I try to refrain from it unless it's from um, a sister who I'm very close with, you know, who will understand exactly what I'm saying and take my words, not at heart, you understand, but using intelligence to understand what I'm going to say. They always ask me, where are the good men, right? Where are the good black men, you know? How come we don't have them? Why are they running around? And why, you know what I'm saying? We f we should uh, 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 not feel the way when we see them with people from other nationalities and things of that nature. Um, I'm going to actually tell you what it is when you want to know are there any good men, any good black men, I want to say no, but I will say a few, right? The majority that one would consider good or extremely great are taken. Point blank, period. Married uh, or driven, but to think that one is just going to fall in your lap, that's not happening, sister. It's not happening. Right? You're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to literally and figuratively build you a good black man. Now, a lot of dudes going to take offense to it too. A lot of men, so-called men. I could care less. I don't give a damn. You can take offense to it all you want. If you are a good or great man, nine times out of ten, you are taken. You are involved. You are there because you are there with your kids because a good or great black man knows what it means to be in a family unit. To have that other person and these children and you are working diligently to make sure that they are secure they are safe, they are well fed, and they are educated spiritually and intellectually. So you're gone, you're off the radar. So I'm not talking about you, excuse me. But again, if you're a sing sis single sister out there looking for a good black man, you can hang it up. Not, It's not falling in your lap. You literally have to build you a man. Why? So why you say that, brother? Why? Because there is no incentive for a man to be good, especially a black man in 2018. You always got to ask yourself, what is anybody's incentive to deal with me? When sh once... You figure that out, you will have you a good or great black man. Point blank, period. What is somebody's incentive to deal with you and only you? Once you figure that out, you'll be off and running. But again, nine times out of ten, a woman is not going to honestly answer that question or know how to answer that question. Because right now, we have skipped two generations of people, well, of males who know how to be good black men. They have been persecuted. They have been scapegoated. They have been just disrespected and, and demonized to the degree of all they all ever wanted was to be desired, right? That was the black man's biggest gripe at one time. He wanted to be desired. 
But they had already stripped them of anything else. So what did they do? Remember, this shit is, 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 this is high science. So what did they do to the black man? They made him desired. They made him one of the most desired beings on the planet. So they raised him up right here. This is his desire. You made him desirable, but they made him powerless. So all he is is just what they want him to be anyway. An old buck. A phallus. A tool. A cum freak. That's what they made him. Desired. But powerless. So he has no incentive to do anything. He has no incentive to do anything other than that. To be desired. To be used as a tool. And who desires the black man? Everybody. You don't have to go nowhere. Russians and Europeans would deal with him. Asians would deal with him. The whole Caribbean would deal with him. Latin America will deal with him. Using him. Keep him in a home somewhere. And they don't care what type he is. He could just be coming out of a rehab. They made him desirable and powerless. You understand that? Desirable and powerless. So his incentive to be right there with you is gone. You don't have to be there. And if the only thing that you have to offer him is some pussy, then you done off. B, he could get that anywhere. From 18 to 60 to 65, they're making everybody open to this black man. Women are throwing it at him. For what? Because they're utilizing him, making him useless. They're making him desired and powerless. So you, standing on your moral ground, don't have a shot. What is his incentive to deal with you? Who are you? So therefore, I'm telling you, you have to build you one. You have to find one that will at least listen. And then you have to walk him on the path that you need him to walk. But first, you got to have knowledge of self. Because if you don't know that you need to be liberated... Then you done off. So you just going to build the average dude that's out here that's going to do the same old bullshit the rest of them doing. Your man has to be a liberator, a revolutionary. Someone you can build that's going to be one to protect you against all. To show you how to be economically sufficient and independent against all. That's going to show you how to pull yourself up out of the system. If you don't do that. You just building a regular old Joe. You might as well take your ass to a church somewhere and go ahead through the same old bullshit. Remember, he is desired and powerless. So you got to build him up. But you got to have knowledge yourself. Because they're throwing everything at everything. Everyone. Don't you see who your best friend is? Every reality show, you don't see no best friend, black man, heterosexual. You don't see that. Who do you see as your best friend? The desire. They even made the black man desire himself. Powerless. Powerless, but desired. So he ain't nothing but a what? A, a buck. A phallus. A tool. And that tool gonna go anywhere. What's an incentive for a tool? He has none. The tool is gonna work with whoever is using him. So why he gotta stay home with you? Why he gotta take care of your kids? Why he gotta make sure that you're safe and comfortable? Why he gotta cuddle and hold you and massage you? For what? What do you have that the rest of the world don't have? 
What is his incentive to deal with you? When you figure that out, then you will have a black man. Until then, you mixed up, done off, complaining, beefing, switching teams, all that other funny style shit. What is his incentive to deal with you and only you? What are you bringing to the table? What do you have that's different from any other woman on the planet? And you better be honest with it. Because the minute that you're not honest with that, that's when you start to fool yourself. And that's when you get caught by the dummy that's going to come in and abuse your kids. Or the dummy that's going to come in and bust you upside your head. Or the dummy that's going to come in and hump your mother or your cousin or your girlfriend or your sister. You got to be honest. What is somebody's incentive to deal with you and only you? And if you don't know it, be honest with about it. Then you can build you a man. You can build you a king. You can build you a god. That's the secret to this bullshit. Because one... Falling in your lap ready made? Sweetie, this ain't this 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s. Black man has not been taught to be good. He had the luxury of being a fucking loser and accepted as being a loser. So you better find it out. You want a man? Build you one. Until then, stop beefing and complaining. Complaining, excuse me. They ain't out there. Peace.